All right, let's get going. Okay, let's see. What do I have in my inventory? I think my inventory is clear. Um, is my piggy bank. Piggy bank is also clear. Awesome. Okay. Um... I'm going to go ahead and re-roll the fork, I think, unless it costs like way too much money, because I had the money to do it. Okay, that's not too bad. I want something that doesn't have minus knockback. A little less damage than before. But more knockback. Um, how about we just take that? There's no real reason to re-roll any of the rest of this except the Furious Ventures. No, that's good, I guess. Um, I don't think I really want to re-roll anything else I have. The rest of this stuff is all in my inventory so it doesn't matter also it's components that can be used it does feel really sad that i have a warding item that i'm never ever going to equip but oh well we do have another accessory slot coming to us eventually wait why am i running when i can just pull apart Because we're back on the hunt. Specifically, the hunt for the shimmer. Okay, where am I? Alright, we've explored out to here. Um, I think my next move is probably to explore higher up. So we'll start. Oh. Well, last night we were coming around and coming back up this way. We found this cool minecart track that I, for some reason, didn't follow to the end. Um... So we'll just start from over here by this tree and kind of work our way down into this black area. But while we're here, oops, let's see what we can poke out down around there. Nothing, apparently. Oh, there's some open areas here. Die, Hornet. Stop moving. Damn you. There we go. Uh, we'll just let that coin down. Leave be down there. So let's let loose the bees. Okay. Hey, you hurry up and die. Get that corona. Okay. 
Okay, there's the reward we need. Well, hopefully it's got something we need in it. Okay, what do you contain? Another anklet of the wind, a suspicious looking eye, gravitation potion, a bunch of nice stuff. Let's go ahead and store our gold. Actually, there we go. Quick stack. crystal and a nature's gift right beside it oh even better there's another containment zone um we're kind of diverging from my intended path but that's fine honey spencer nice more gold arcane feral claws plus 20 mana enables auto swing for melee weapons um, that might be useful for something. It's a material, so it's probably good crafting material. Um, damn you bat, I'm contemplating my gear here. Go away. Okay. Let's probe the area a little bit here. Kind of not going the direction I originally intended to go, but we are going in a direction. Might as well probe around up here. Okay. Don't see anything good up there. Yeah. Downward. Oh. Take chest. See ya, suckers. Oh. Um. Bomb the hornet from above. Stop moving, damn you. the undead miner. We should probably go kill him, but you know what? How about we not? Okay. Angry bees above us. Sucks to be them, I guess. Okay. This track very atmospheric hello ash okay 
quite exposing quite a lot of the jungle. I don't remember ever being quite this efficient at exploring in previous playthroughs. I hate spiked jungle slimes. They're worse than normal jungle slimes and they're bad enough. <clears throat> Bomb this bastard. Okay, now. Um, should I go this way? I really want to go down. But I think what I'm looking for. Well, here, let's go through here. I think what I'm looking for is below us, but all I have to go on is that's where it normally spawns. Has a higher chance to spawn, I guess I should say. Okay, there's a jellyfish statue. Normally, that would be a um, a recipe for riches. However, they were nerfed into the ground. At some point. Rip. Okay. What we're looking for is a biome. So it's not in here. There's like no way. There's not enough space that I don't know what exists. It could be over here still. Or it could be over here. Um... But it looks like the direction I'm going is mostly a dead end unless I want to cut passage through here. I guess I could do that. That'd be the dumbest thing I've ever done. We'll dig some stairs and try to get above that water. It could be anything. Oh, there's a chest. Um, I suspect it's probably a trap chest, judging by all the um, explosives and stuff around it. But those can contain nice things, so we will be heading over there. Just, you know, carefully. Um, yeah, see, wiring. Stuff to drop on you from above, darts to shoot you from the sides, explosives to make sure you die. In general, it is not a nice time for anybody. Die because I didn't see this stupid jungle slime. <clears throat> well, we shall return. Collect our money, if nothing else. After, of course, we stop and have a conversation with the nurse. Heal me. Hello, survey. Welcome here. I would say something stupid like, we're close, I can smell it. But then I'd be hunting for a couple more hours, so I probably shouldn't. Hmm. 
Okay. There's our little off ramp. And then we went down. Damn jungle slime. Try to ambush me in the dark. See how that works out for you. Okay. Also, I should probably put more effort into making sure that in the dark is a condition that doesn't exist around here anymore. Okay, we've got our gold back. Speaking of which, we should probably fix the problem of having gold in the first place. Um, big little airlock here. Okay. Well, um, having drained most of the water, I suppose we can just continue mining. Try to drain a little more water while we're at it. Okay, the reason we're coming in from below here instead of just digging in through there is these explosives. I want to collect them from underneath the chest before I go try to open it. Um, keeping in mind that the explosives are not the only protection that chest has. It also has dart traps and thingies to fall on your head from above. Okay, I do believe Oh, there's, an, there's a water chest Ooh, shiny um, I have been distracted Let's go over that way <laughs> As is the saying in the Christensen household a butterfly has flown past. <laughs> hey, I'll get off of you. Oh, I can hit these through the wall. Well, sucks to be you, I guess. Okay, I think this is indeed... Also, my inventory is full and I should have emptied it when I died last time. Dummy. Alright. Let's go ahead and put unstackable crap. Uh, I kind of want the life crystal in my inventory for now. Also, stuff that's unlikely to be picked up much of can go in here. Okay. Bunch of crap I don't actually want. Go oh well. Just your standard water chest stuff. Apparently inner tubes are common as dirt. Well, maybe not literally as common as dirt, but they sure seem like it. Okay, um... Now we can mine in from here. However, it is still not safe. There's a boulder waiting to fall on somebody's head. And there's two more. 
So we have to get rid of all of those. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. There we go. Mine both boulders. It's just normal stone. Oh, there's normal stone block with accutators. Okay. There's no point in mining them then. Okay. It's like shooting fish in a small pond. You remove dart traps. And finally, we check to make sure there's no unexpected circuitry. There does not appear to be any. Damn it. I thought I removed you. Okay. Um, banded regeneration's nice. Unfortunately, my inventory's full. Uh, get rid of the pig. Okay. Let's just store some random crap for now. Just put it all in. Who cares? I'm gonna keep the life crystal, because I have a plan for that. Alright. All that effort, and we still got hit by a trap. Probe area a little bit. Kill Ornips, because why not? Okay. We still have a significant area below us that needs to be explored. Um, but our path is kind of leading up. So, unless I want to go a completely different direction, I guess we're going up. Hello. Get back here. Okay. Not the bees. <laughs> yeah, we almost drowned. I think I probably would have figured out um, emphasis on think. But I think I probably would have figured out what was happening before we actually drowned to death. <laughs> Get down here, you grab your little bastard. I wanted to die fairly close in so I can get his loot. There we go. Oh, there's another underground tree right over here. Okay. So coming this way is clearly rewarding us. keep mining right through this wall. Awesome. Another nature's gift. A Beelzar, how do you pronounce that? It's the anti-poison thing actually pretty useful to have. If only I had a slot that I could, you know, effectively use it in. Okay, what do you have in you? Cloud in a bottle! Heck yeah! We can combine that with our balloon to make a cloud in a balloon. Okay. Oh. 
Hello, um... I am not sure how that's supposed to be untangled. Feely I got? I don't know. I probably just mangled it horribly. But anyway, thank you very much for the follow. It's greatly appreciated. Yeah. Hello, hello, and welcome here. Slime problem over here. And we'll just mine our way right out of the tree. Okay, um. Let me make that a little larger so I can get through when I come back. Okay, this area down here. Could be it. But I don't really. I guess I could mine down into the trees of the, the root of the tree and go down through that way. Or I could go up through this vertical area. go upward instead and that'll be easier so let's do that first I mean technically we're supposed to be looking for something that's probably spawning down low so let's face it I'm finding lots of nice jungle items so I don't mind doing a bit of that first What's up in here? Not much. That's what's up in there. Ooh, nice. Crap. Give me them dudes. Oh, there's a jungle hut. Perfect. Okay, um, I have to mine in through a door, through a wall because there's just no door. Another cloud in a bottle. Well, that's less useful than the first one, but. Die bees. Inventory is full again. We're going to end up having to go back just to uh, dump our stuff eventually. Okay. Not what I wanted to do. Oh, there's life crystal. Well, it's nice to know its location. Um, can I get to it easily? Actually, I probably could if I really wanted to. Um, okay. Let's do that then. At this point, the only real reason to get life crystals anymore is heart lanterns. But heart lanterns are still good, so... so... I don't know if there's anything in hard mode that uses them besides... Probably should check to see if there's any other good recipes for... Well...
they're in uncommon items, so that's useful enough on, on, on its own. Worst case, you can well, make a lot of heart paintings with them, I guess. <laughs> out a little bit. Throw away a spiked slime. Right underneath a pretty sizable beehive apparently. That's cool. Oh, shit. Uh, that was a mistake. Well, we're dead. <laughs> there is no flipping way I'm going to survive this. Um, I have no room to maneuver. Yep, we're dead. <laughs> Okay, well, let's go dump our inventory. We didn't drop much coins because we didn't pick up that many. The unfortunate thing is that that is one less easy place to summon Queen Bee. Okay, cloud in a bottle. Let's take and store the prefixed one. I don't think Cloud in the Bottle can be used for anything except upgrading a balloon. Uh, are there any of these that are useless? That one's definitely useless. Okay. So let's store our fancy armored one. Now let's go ask the guide about Cloud in the Bottles. Okay, we can make Cloud in a Balloon. We can make Sandstorm in a Bottle by using a Forbidden Fragment. That's nice. Where do we get that? Or a frost core to make blizzard in a bottle. Okay, so it is a good thing we got more than one of those then. Oh, fart in a jar using whoopee cushion. Okay, so it is a good thing we got multiple of those. But there is no reason to not use one with our balloon to make a cloud in a balloon. Please be warding. Nope, it's arcane. Okay, well, we're let's go re-roll that. I'll take armored or warding. Either one is fine. Seven gold. Ouch. Warding. Heck yeah. Third roll. That was easy. Okay. That gets us to 36 armor. Which won't save us from accidentally summoned queen bees, but... <laughs> Let's empty out our stuff here. Okay, we have some statues to store in the statue storage. I thought I already had a dribbler, sta dribbler statue. Weird. Okay, chandelier can go in here. Um, honey dispenser, I should probably place one of those somewhere. I guess we'll put it there. Mudstone brick can go here in the stone chest. The regeneration band. That's a pretty good item. Unfortunately, I don't have enough slots to feel like I should equip it. Not yet, anyway. Um, we'll put the red balloons in the overflow chest for now. Almost full. I should probably go sell a lot of this crap. Like, we do not need that many shackles. Teleportation potion. That sounds dangerous. Uh, let's store that. Anklet of the wind. I used my last one already, but more of them is good. I need dispenser. We'll sell that one because we already have one. Two gold. Not bad. One platinum and two gold. Why do I have... Oh yeah, I took everything out of my piggy bank. That's why. Okay. That's 
transfer those all to normal inventory. Boom. So far, I still only have one weapon chest, but that's not going to last forever. Okay. Um, let's see. Resummon the fetch. And... Probably should be eating food. And back to the jungle we go. We. Question is, where? I want to enter this time. Okay, we died over here. And we were just heading this way, which would have led us back into more or less the same territory we've been in before. Uh, do I want to go down and explore this little area? up lady I'm coming I don't know what you're trying to show me but it's over this way oh heart crystal okay don't mind if I do Actually, it'd be perfectly fine if you left, but there is an amethyst cave right here I should probably clear out, but I don't really have a use for amethyst at the moment. Um, where should I explore? Also, I probably didn't go out far enough either. Um, let's go. I don't. Yeah, I didn't drop much money, so it's probably not worth heading over there for money. Uh-oh. It's going to here will be safe, hopefully, while I think about this. Um... Right in this altitude is probably the most likely place where it'll be. Supposedly. It could be below that, it could be above that. Let me just go ahead and clear this empty area enough so that I'm sure it's not there. That'll mean dropping to the bottom of our current shaft and then... That was stupid. There was a safe place to land right there and I missed it. Also, we have two double jumps now. Which makes everything a little weird. Here we are on top of a, another queen beehive. We should probably be careful there. are awesome even if they are the craptastic wings that you start with when you 
our pre-hard mode. Well, I shouldn't say start with, because that's not... This isn't journey mode. Okay, where even am I? Okay, I'm here. You are here. <laughs> the skeleton merchant is around somewhere. Okay, he's over this way somewhere. There he is. Okay. Go talk to the skeleton merchant. Uh, we can get counterweights for a yo yo. Strange brew restores 70 to 120 life. Side effects may include unpredictable healing, consistent potion sickness, brief periods of inexplicable invulnerability. <laughs> that sounds interesting. Bone arrows, um, torches, bombs, rope, artesian loaf. Consumed a permanently increased crafting station range. Heck yeah, I'll take that. Um, I didn't know he had such a thing. That is awesome. Uh, I'm tempted to buy a counterweight too, just in case I ever decide to go into yo-yos. Um, this is awesome. I don't know how much it would increase crafting station range, but even a little tiny bit is like amazing. Okay. Well, he was definitely worth finding. He sells different things depending. I think it's the moon phase or something. Uh-oh. Um, that was a mistake. Oh, well. That's somebody else's problem now. <laughs> That's future Milo's problem to worry about. <laughs> yep. That's future Milo's problem. Okay. Oh, sometimes I pity future Milo. He has to deal with all of past Milo's shit. <laughs> a less than smooth that is another trap chest complete with explosives all around and all that fun stuff Okay. 
Okay. Explosive lines. Three on this side, two on this side, and then three drops above us. Okay, fine. Please die. Thank you. Okay, so that handles the drops. Three on this side. Stop moving around. There we go. Two on this side. Should be safe. Dead man's sweater. And some other cool stuff. back here you also I really don't feel like dealing with another spike slime let's just bomb him from above probably dig out that gold while I'm here chest detected nearby Outside the window. Okay, I'm pretty sure it's not down here. There's not really enough space in here for there to be anything. Uh, so it's got to be above us then, or out here. Out there is perfectly reasonable idea, I guess. Don't just wait right in the danger, you idiot. Oh, hello. Whatever's over there, I think that's a broken trap. Cloud in a bottle. All right. Don't mind if I do. I'm going to want at least three of those anyway. To craft um, a bundle of balloons. I'm not looking forward to fighting Plantera. Dr. Bones. Which means there's another... There he is. I think this is Dr. Indiana Bones. <laughs> Archaeologist's hat. Nice. Um, probably worthless, but nice. I wish I could hide the finch. It kind of ruins my outfit. It's 
snail statue. Uh, okay, I already explored up there. Okay, what's that archaeologist's hat look like when equipped? Can't tell because of the stupid finch. Okay. Um... Okay. That should be some pretty straightforward digging. Oh, I can't dig that out because there's a tree on top, but... Die, Hornet. Bunch of moon glow in here. That's nice. I feel like I've explored three quarters of this jungle by now. <laughs> in reality, of course, this is probably just a tiny corner of it. Bees. Anyway, Moon Glow is always worth uh, the gathering. Okay, there's some gems there. There's a beehive. Be careful not to kill anything inside of it by accident. After all, we all know how that ended last time. There's a life crystal. Um, I think I'm going to mine across right here after I solve our hornet problem. And then we'll mine up and grab the life crystal. Oh, coal. Don't mind if I do. Please go away. I don't appreciate you. Awesome. Okay. This looks like a granite biome. I think that's a granite biome, yeah. Okay. I'm not entirely sure what this biome we're looking for looks like. 
just that it is somewhat purple. But I've seen granite biomes before, so I know what they look like. Well, purple and black, I guess. There's a detonator. There's the explosives. That's definitely a you will die if you go that way moment. I guess we just have to be careful. It would help if I didn't run right into the damn thing. There, give me stuff. Oh, there's another life crystal. Um, do I need more life crystals? No. Do I want more life crystals? Yes. Why do I want more life crystals? Good question. Because why not? That's why. Okay, we'll go straight up and get that. goes through there. Originally I was hoping that it would be much easier than this and that we would just kind of blunder into it right away. I guess we continue to go up. Supposedly in the outer fifth of the world. Can you imagine how awesome it would be if wing charges refreshed every time you used one of those double, double jump abilities? <laughs> Merchant has arrived. Okay. Well, we're going to want to go back soon to deal with that then. Uh, meanwhile, let's tunnel up through the tree here. There's got to be a chest in here somewhere. covered. Mm. Let's go back. Ah. 
No, let's not go back. It's going to be a pain in the ass to get back to where we are here. Angry bees. Stone. Stone does not normally occur inside of a dungeon. Not dungeon. Inside of a um, jungle. Are we at the roof of the jungle? Uh, possibly. Okay. Where's this go? Um, let's get up there and find out where that goes, because that looks interesting. We might be able to get a faster way back to here for future exploring. So that tunnel leads, well, knowing my luck, it probably ends over this way a little bit. Please die. There's a distressing amount of stuff spawning in the tunnel here. Okay. I wonder if this is what we're looking for. Because look at how it curves here. That's not normal. Whereas a lot of biomes are um, either circles or trapezoids. Eventually, like to get out of here. I don't think I'm going to be able to get out of here just because of how many of these damn things are spawning in this area. There's a hot. Okay, you know what? How about we go this way and find out what was in there before I die? Definitely an inclusion. And inclusions to me say biome. Oh yeah. Here we are. Hopefully this place isn't too dangerous. I just realized I have no idea what, if anything, spawns in here.
And there is what we are looking for. Bats need to come up and ruin everything. Slime swimming around. Okay, this stuff is called shimmer, according to the wiki. Yes, I did look up this place before I came here. Matter of fact, that's why I'm coming here. Oh. There was a pinky there for a second, and then he's turned into a different kind of slime in the shimmer. That is what the shimmer does. It changes things. Ah, oh, damn it. I forgot about that traveling merchant. Anyway. stars bounce off it. Boring. I'm not sure what happens if I fall into it. Um, but I guess I'm going to find out. Because I can't see a mysterious liquid without trying to swim in it. This is concerning. What happens is I apparently phase through the ground underneath it. Um, there's a bunch of fairies or failings or something. Failing. Okay, well, I would really like to stop all these idiots from spawning in it. Um,. Random jungle slimes allowed, okay? And then let's put some wooden platforms over that hole here. And a second layer just in case, even though I'm unlikely to fall into there. Um, additionally, I would like to lay a layer of platform over top the shimmer. That was a very weird experience, by the way. Phasing through the ground. Okay, apparently if I jump out of it in time, I don't phase through the ground all the way. Where'd that damn bat go? It's hard to see anything around here. seem to drop anything particularly special. There's a bunch of gem trees there, which is cool. Okay. There's a skeleton in the bottom of it, apparently. There. Slime, jungle bat, raw dead. Uh. 
Oh, that's on the other side of that wall. I see. Would you scumbags leave me alone, please? Thank you. I'm trying to experience the wondrous weirdness of this pit. How about you go that way? How about I remove some of those platforms? Ew! Okay, fine. Down we go. Jungle bat so much. Whoa, I had reverse controls for a second there. Failings, I can capture you. What are you worth? I have no idea, but I got one. Oh, there's the um, skeleton merchant. Uh, please come back. I would like to talk to you. Thank you. A red counterweight. I bought a blue one last time. Splunker glow sticks. And nothing else much that I want. Okay. Now, the reason I wanted to come here... indeed have a life crystal. Okay. The main reason I wanted to come here is so I could drop a life crystal in here and a mana crystal, which I don't currently have. But a life crystal will have to be good enough. Permanently boost life regen. Yes, please. Okay. Well, that was worth the trip, probably. Um, the mana crystal does the same thing, except for mana regen. Which is of less utility to me, but still useful. Okay, you know what? How about... We go through this wall here. Actually, you know what? That's bad. Let's do it this way. There we go. Store all that stuff. Okay, Splunker glow sticks are awesome. They make treasure nearby glow when you use them. Skeleton banner. Once I get that. Failings. Consumable materials. Okay. Let's go find out what they're used for. You can make failing in a bottle. Okay. Who knows what they're good for, but we'll have a few around, I guess. Um, we'll put them in the miscellaneous materials chest over here. Where is it? That's not it. That's not it. That's not it for sure. There it is. Um, uh, they can go over there, I guess. Okay. Let's go place the skeleton banner before we forget about that. We're starting to fill up our 
little banner thing here. Okay, time to empty the piggy bank. All right, we have two different kinds of counterweight. We have a king statue. We have an extractinator, which we already have over here. So we can sell that. Cat sword. Okay, that's an interesting name for a painting. Uh, let's put this painting there, I guess, for now. We'll put the statue in the statue chest. Uh, we have no room in here. Now we do. <laughs> Those can go into the overflow chest, which is now full. Okay. Um, that's not for decorative stuff. That's for... Where was I putting decorative clothing? Apparently here. Got an archaeologist's hat and a dead man's sweater. Nice. And we can go sell the extractinator. Ching. Okay. Go put our money back in the piggy bank before I forget about it. We no longer have a platinum coin, but oh well, good enough. First of all, let's not do that. Let's craft ourselves a mana crystal. Just one. We'll take that back down, get, increase our mana. Regen. Okay, where was that thing anyway? There it was. Interesting. Okay. A little higher than I expected it to be, but well within the area that it can be. Okay. Well, I guess I know what that looks like. It's a big circle of stone with a little pool in the center. Um, how to get to it? It's a real question. I should probably just dig a tunnel through here. So we want to go to that underground cabin we found, and then we'll dig a tunnel straight across until we get to it. So right about here. Hello, second underground cabin. Don't mind if I do. Flare gun. Nothing else too good. Honestly, I've never really re used the flare gun, so I'm not sure if that's good or not. Uh, another skeleton merchant. Okay, so if we dig... Oh, a low trap. Okay, this is a kind of trap I haven't seen yet this game. If you step on this, it'll spawn a bat from this statue. Except, of course, we remove the statue so we don't get to see the bat. It used to be that, uh, well, okay, a lot of statues, if they're activated with a. Um, a switch or something like that. They will spawn whatever kind of creature the statue depicts. A lot, not all. Particularly the ones that show critters tend to spawn that critter. Well, it used to be those creatures would then drop the same thing that they would normally drop. So certain statues were extremely valuable 
because the creature would drop, you know, rare enough stuff that it was worth farming the heck out of them. Um, jellyfish were particularly valuable, from what I remember, because they would drop coins, they would drop glow sticks, and they would drop jellyfish, um, I gotta call them, jellyfish rod or something it was called, and a weapon that could be used to summon a, I think it summoned a jellyfish or something that would float around you, or I don't remember how, what exactly it does anymore. But anyway, and a lot of that stuff could just be sold for a reasonable amount of money. Or no, it was slimes that was, that was, jellyfish would drop something, jellyfish something or other, but slimes would drop a slime rod. That was another decent one. Jellyfish drop jellyfish necklace. That's what it was. Speaking of which, we have one of those. They're just not that great for most of the stuff I want to do. Okay, screw you guys. Okay, you want to dump this in the stuff? Arcane Crystal. Beautiful. Permanently increases mana regen. Okay. There's a bunch of stuff that can be transmuted in there, and I have no idea what they all are. Some turn into good things, some turn into bad things. I just happen to know those two crystals turn into cool single-use consumables. I think there's some other stuff I could drop in that would turn into single-use consumables. But. I don't feel like spending forever trying to figure out what all. Okay, we should grab another weapons, another chest. Let's go, let's go actually grab a couple chests. Okay. I think I'm going to grab all of the melee weapons out of here. Apparently I have several of those bat-bats. Okay. And then we're going to grab all the ammo. Um, but not throwing weapons. We'll leave those in here. And we'll put the ammo in this upper chest. There we go. That chest will never be full, but who cares? Is everything out of my inventory that I don't want in it? There's no reason to carry more than one red pressure plate around. Do I not have any red pressure plates stored anywhere? Where was I storing the rest of this stuff? Where was I storing? There they are. Okay. Um. 
Why do I have hooks in here? Hooks should go in the miscellaneous materials chest, which is over here. Also, I should move all of my accessories to dedicated accessory chests over here somewhere. As well as... Trying to find a way to label these things. I think there's a sign that can be made or something. Um, let's check here. There we go. Sign. There, we can label stuff. get exactly right it'll go on the wall instead of okay oh it showed as being placed attached to the ceiling but then it showed up okay um There's no good way to make an angle there, oh, is there? Okay, that works reasonably well, I guess. Okay, um... You know what? I've got lots of space. There. It looks cooler if I do it that way. Okay. Um... Actually, it's better if I space them out and put the signs in between them. Well, let's go grab a fancy chest and a boring chest. And this will be armor. Well, we already have a fancy chest, I guess. We'll put a boring chest there. I'll put a sign between them. Edit. Vanity. Armor. <laughs> Whoever writes an editor That doesn't allow you to move your cursor around. Has problems. Okay. There we go. Now we need to go get all our vanity clothing out of this chest that it's currently in, which is a temporary chest. There we 
we go. Oops. Get back here, you. Okay. Uh, we don't really have many sets, so let's just dump it all in. You can worry about sorting it later. Okay. And then... We're going to need quite a lot of chests for... these things. I don't even know how I'm going to organize this stuff. I probably should come up with a system, but I'm not sure what that system would even look like. Well, let's we'll start by grabbing all the movement related stuff out, I guess. Lucky horseshoe. Movement or no? Yeah, it kind of is. Okay, and then we're going to need some chests to put this in. And yes, I realize I just completely filled my inventory, so I can't really do that. Um, guess we'll have to put one of these in the vanity slot for now. Uh, what should I use? Damn you, Blood Moon. Couldn't you come at a better time? Go ahead and stick this right there for now. Okay, we'll put our signs in there for now as well. All right. Now, I do have a blood candle here, or not blood candle, a water candle. So we will see greater than normal enemy spawns. Now we just need to wait and collect our money. This being pretty hard mode, there's nothing that can phase through blocks and come get us or anything like that. Hard mode blood moons are a little bit more exciting. And this would definitely not be safe with them. Although there is a way to make this safe. And I probably will be using it when we get to that point. That is to dig a wide enough trench around it. Although I'll have to figure out a way to stop stuff from just falling into the trench. Ah, uh, delicious loot. This is a pretty solid way to explore an area. <laughs> Get stuff to die and leak particles. Okay, it'd be incredibly um, annoying to get working, but it would function. got four gold out of this. Another money trough. We can sell that for more gold. We can't sell anything for more gold. I should figure out which merchant is the happiest. I think a happier merchant will pay me more. We 
may have a little bit of money. Oh. But the chest detectors are what I wear, and I realized oh, it only, that only triggers when I'm closer to the house. So this must be just close enough to the edge of the house to pick up the chests inside the storage area. I haven't gotten any banners yet. Bloody tear. Summons the blood moon. Oh, okay. I already have one of those. That could be useful in the future if I have ever any particular reason want to summon one. This isn't the worst money farm in the world. It's kind of meh, but. Shark tooth necklace. More money. I don't think there's any reason to save more of those than I already have. I'm definitely going to want to go through my uh, inventory of accessories and sell some of them. After carefully considering what all I might want to craft with them in the future. And how many duplicates I'm going to need for that. Like there's some that are used in several different crafting recipes. And some of which are mutually exclusive. So I'm going to want duplicates for that. But there's others that. There's only a few things they're used for. And then you're done with them. Like I think the shackle might have two or three recipes. But I have like six shackles. Anyway. Eleven gold already. Speaking of shackles, there we go. <laughs> also, why do I not have lights in here? Um, okay, let's make sure this is even. There's another shackle. We definitely need to sell some of those shackles. And another money trough. <laughs> Two of them so far. Money trough is an awesome item. However, I only need one. The Blood Moon gives some really good stuff. Well, two really good things. He gives the Money Trough, which basically more than doubles your inventory. And it gives the Shark Tooth Necklace, which is a pretty amazing DPS increase. close to the end of the night. 14 gold.
Here's our bomb zombies. If stuff dies faster, there's more stuff to spawn. a unique set of stuff I can sell for money. Don't mind if I do. And another shackle to end the night. Um, alright. Would help if I actually collected everything from the pool. There we go. Alright, so we already have a wedding dress and veil, so we'll sell that. Uh, none of these shackles are particularly awesome, so we'll sell those, except the armored one. That might be my best shackle. We have a couple guarding shackles, we don't have an armored one. Um, yeah, none of those are particularly great. We'll sell these. Uh, we'll keep the bloody tears. Because who knows when I might... I should be using some of these suspicious looking eyes to farm those bosses. Hey, merchant buddy! Okay, so he's not the happiest merchant around here by far. Okay, so she wants to move someplace. Probably the jungle or something I want to move her. He's not very happy at all. We might try to make him happier just so he's cheaper to use. Um, I want to check something. Does happiness affect sale price? She would pay me one gold, 90 silver, 47 copper for a money trough. The merchant, who is sort of happy, will pay me two gold, two silver, and two copper. And this guy, who is happy and likes everybody around him, will pay me two gold, 38 silver, nine copper. Okay. So he's the best price, but not by a huge amount. We'll sell the shark's tooth necklace, sell the shackles, and then we're out of here. Um, dye vat. Used to craft dyes. You know, I probably should be storing all my dye items and stuff out here, but just for thematic reasons. Yeah. Okay. Um. We're back up to one platinum. Let me see. What was I? Oh, yes. I was back to sorting these, this crap out. Okay, so I don't really want to put them right there. That was just a quick drop it in case of emergency kind of thing. Um, what kind of chest should I use for these? You know, what? I'm just going to use the most common chest. Okay. Perfect. Boom. All right. Now, how many? Where did I put my 
signs. Did I not grab my signs? No, I didn't. Okay. Put one there. And one there. Then we go craft a couple more signs. Okay. Now, we won't actually label the signs until such time as we place all the items they belong with. Um, loot all. Okay, this will be movement. That's high on my list of things I probably should be selling. I think the only thing these are used for is to make the climbing gear. Red blooms you want to keep. I don't know about the flippers. Yeah. That's a bunch of crap. Okay, now to go figure out another category we can grab. Oh, we still have movement items in here we can grab. Um, different boots. Boots almost deserve a chest of their own. Why do I have a copper axe and a ruby hook in here? Um, arguably those are movement items. Cloud in a bottle is definitely a movement item. Okay. Part of me wants to split it into running, swimming, and jumping. However, a lot of the running stuff also applies to jumping. Mm. Okay, so I need to split the movement. The movement chest is getting full. I don't want it to be this full yet. Uh, there's an easier way to do this, and that is... Grab all the climbing claws. I want to keep one of everything if I can. Okay, so let's go find out. Make sure these aren't good for anything. Beyond making the climbing gear. No, they're not. Okay. No. Alright. The question is, is climbing gear worth more for sale than the constituent parts and for that I'm going to grab my climbing gear I'm not going to sell them but I am going to check their prices okay one gold two spikes are the same one gold 11 silver Matter of fact climbing gear is exactly the same price as the basic shoe spikes climbing claws just are not worth very much Okay. We'll sell all those. Climbing gear goes back in its chest. Okay, horseshoes. Let's go find out if they're good for anything. Actually, let's decide which ones I want to keep first. Okay, guardian is probably my best one. Crafting. Okay, they're actually used in quite a few different things. Negates fall damage, grants immunity to fire blocks. That's pretty nice. Um, the obsidian skull is better used to make a shield, though. Although obsidian skulls are basically free to make. They're easily craftable. Horseshoe balloon, the cloud in a balloon, plus a lucky horseshoe. Problem is I want to make a 
bundle of horseshoe balloons. And for that, I need to not put the horseshoes on the balloons. So let's actually keep those for now. Balloons we'll keep for sure. Flippers, let's go find out if these are worth anything, or more specifically, if I want to keep them. I think these are used to craft a couple of things. Frog gear, frog flipper, and diving gear. Okay, we'll keep all my flippers for now. Okay, inner tubes. I don't think they're not used to craft anything at all. The boots are definitely used useful. Okay, good enough for now. All right, second category. Mana related gear. Don't actually have that much mana related gear. Oh, that's a movement item. A literal shit ton of celestial magnets. Um, celestial emblem. Celestial Cuffs, which gives us, restores mana when damaged, increases maximum mana by 20, increases pickup range for mana stars, or Magnet Flower, which automatically uses mana potions when needed, increases pickup range for mana stars. Celestial Cuffs are probably more useful than anything. Okay, so there's not that many things to make with a Celestial Magnet. Probably should go ahead and sell a couple of those. I don't want to sell too many, so we'll just sell the ones with really boring prefixes. We'll sell those two for now. Okay, nature's gift. Mana potion to make a mana flower. That's the only thing that can be done with that. And the mana flower is just straight up better in every possible way. Okay. We'll keep one of these and we'll make one into a mana flower like right away. Okay. Uh, Arcane Nature's Gift, plus 20 mana. That's probably the best possible roll for a Nature's Gift. And then let's go craft one of these into a Mana Flower. And we'll sell the other two. Actually, no, we won't, because we're going to want more than one Mana Flower. What exactly are Mana Flower used, used to craft? Arcane Flower, Mana Cloak, and the Magnet Flower, which we can go ahead and make right away. Okay, so we're going to want all of those. We're going to want to craft them all into Mana Flowers. And then one of them, whichever one is the most boring, which I guess they're all boring, is going to be used together with one of our Celestial Magnets. Uh, how about this one, since we already have a warding one? Make a Magnet Flower. Okay, the Anklet of the Wind goes in here. And we can edit the sign. That direction is mana
And that direction is movement. All right. Now for informational items. I think I have all those already. There we go. Most of those should probably just be sold because I've crafted their derivatives already and there's no reason to keep the old ones. But we will keep them nonetheless. And status effect removing. There's not very many of them yet, but there will be a lot eventually. Actually, I should probably just make this. We include regen. We put the regeneration one in there as well. And probably the shackles. And then we'll just call that one protection. Okay, so mana regen ban plus a shackle each mech gives us magic cuffs. This is kind of interesting. The mana regen ban, magic cuffs, even though it's a derivative of the magic re mana regen ban, it does not give you the same effect or it does not give its effect as part of it. It increases maximum mana by 20 and then increases mana regenerate for the regen band. And the magic cuff restores mana when damaged instead of regening it. That's interesting. But that is the only thing that is crafted with a shackle? Okay, we're going to want to sell a bunch of those then. Okay, do we have any... Okay, we're going to want to keep the armored shackle and angry shackle I think we'll sell the rest it's not like shackles are rare okay protection that way and information that way all right now realistically we don't have enough categories to continue filling out all the chests with a new category but we will continue to try Okay, so this stuff is construction related. And we need one more category to go along with it. Um, weapon enhancement. Construction. Weapon boosters. I don't feel like trying to figure out how to spell enhancement at the moment. I'd probably get it right, but I could always probably mangle it. And I don't want to do that, so we won't. Okay, and all that's left 
is this intrepid guide to plant fiber cordage and the menacing jellyfish necklace. So we're gonna just change this sign to say other that way. And put those in there. Okay. Movement items is definitely the category that we have the most of, but. Now, I should also move the Tinker's Workshop over here as well. Um, problem is, if I put it down there, can I access it when I'm... Yes, I can. Heck yeah. So I'm standing on this platform. I am enraged to access the Tinker's Workshop down below me. Okay, that thing I got that increases workshop range from the Skeleton Merchant, that was worth every penny of that 10 gold I spent on it. Okay. So we can now remove these two chests. We have the copper axe, the ruby hook, and the empty buckets in there still. Okay, the copper axe I was keeping because it can be used to craft something nice later. So we'll go ahead and put that in the weapon chest. The ruby hook and the empty buckets, though, are a bit of an issue because I have no idea what to do with those. Um... They don't really fit any of these categories. We'll just have this chest, I guess, be for random crap that I don't know where else to put it. That is player equipment. So we probably should go around and make sure we don't have any random ass player equipment. Except the staff of regrowth, because that'll go there where I'll remember to use it. Okay, sandcastle bucket and the leaf wands. I don't know where to put those. I should put them over here in this chest, I think. Construction chest. They're not really... They're not weapons. They're placement wands, so I guess they'll go in there too. But they're not accessories either, I guess. Speaking of which, we'll sell an extra sandcastle bucket we have. All right, um, oh, there's another armored guide to plant fiber cordage. Let's go put that away where it belongs. Okay. Now, it's time to update our to-do list. We have found the Aether and we transmuted to Heart and Mana Crystal, so boom, that step is done. Um, next thing I have written down is farm the eye a few more times for the loots. It is currently night, however it is almost daylight, so that's not a good idea to do that now. And the next thing to do after that is start setting up fishing ponds in major biomes together with pylons listed below in priority order. Sky. Okay, we don't have a pylon for sky, of course. Underground. Cavern. Both of those are marked as below ocean. Maybe. Desert. We have a desert pylon that is next to a thing already, so let's mark that off. Snow, forest, which means we don't have a forest fishing pool at the moment, but I would like to have a larger one. Um, I do know of a place where I can, the place where I have been fishing in the forest is not 1K tiles. But I could dig it out larger without too much trouble. Glowing mushroom. Um, okay. 
So let me think about this. Also, I am going to go and set up a hotkey properly for this. Uh, where's that? There we go. Okay. Oh, okay, that worked. So we need to get a sky island that I can fish in. And I would like to share that location with another... Well, obviously I have to share a location with another pylon. Now we could use the desert pylon to run across the desert and go up every time we need to go fishing. Oh wait, that's not a valid... Damn it, that doesn't have a... I was just like, oh, sky island. Uh, uh. No, there's no pond there. Um, we do have a pond here. And it is in a frozen biome. And we could probably fill this in with water and then build a little ice hut here. And out one side of the house would be this pond and out the other side of the house would be up the rope to there. That's probably our best bet for that. Um, forest. We already have a forest teleporter. There would be a possible forest pond. However, I think we're better off if we improve the area over here a little bit and dig this pond out larger. Probably like that, maybe. Just chunk it out huge. And then build like a little fishing, a safe fishing hut in here and kind of smoothing the area out so I can get across there better. Be safer when I'm up here fishing. It's an idea. Yeah, of course, desert pylons right taken care of. Yeah, all right. And while we could put the jungle one here, in fact, that's probably a pretty decent place to put the jungle one. Um, Let's see, the underground jungle's over here mostly. This or this is probably the entrance to the underground jungle. I wouldn't be surprised if it extended out into this area. Yeah, because the jungle runs from like here all the way over to here-ish. So the underground jungle is probably this whole area. This is pretty central to the jungle. So if we built, if we leveled this area and built the jungle housing there, it wouldn't be far to go to this, to go fishing. The question is, I guess we could put fishing zones at both places. Yeah, anyway. Which should I start with is the question. Frost, we don't have any water to start with, so it's going to take quite a while to fill that hole up once I dig it out. So it's probably better to start with digging out the forest one. Technically, if I stood on one side of it, I could fish from the jungle. If I stood on the other side, I could fish from the forest. So this pond... I wouldn't even need a, um, a separate teleporter for the jungle. I want a separate teleporter for the jungle. But it might be more reasonable to put it somewhere where I don't care about fishing. Well... 
Let's go dig this out. Also, I see a lot of gaps in here that could be hiding islands. Because like all over exploring on large world, some of them spawn right up against the top, almost. And a lot of these gaps are definitely big enough to hide an island. I wouldn't be surprised if there's more islands, particularly out here. Or heck, even in here. Well, probably not in there, because I probably would have heard running water. Probably should explore the upper reaches more. Maybe do things like jump off of islands to get across those areas. Um. Yeah. What? Oh, somehow I accidentally switched different. Yeah, so we build. If I dig this out into this area and build a little hut here, just kind of a little fishing hut to protect myself. You don't even need to dig it out that much. It just has to be a thousand blocks of water. And that's only if we want salmon. Otherwise it really does not matter how many blocks of water there are. Now remember correctly, the way it calculates water about jellyfish necklace or something similar also i should have brought buckets the way it calculates water is it measures the surface and then it counts each um, column underneath the surface we we'll get some buckets. Uh, where did I leave those? Over here in this chest. Buckets. See you, loser. Okay. We're gonna to want to remove all this background wall. This is gonna get dug out deeper yet. I'm not done digging it out. Get him, Burb. Gonna want to do something to that side of the water so that we don't have to deal with constant slime invasion. First solution is to have the water level be a little bit down so they can't jump out. Now, eh, that'd be annoying to me too is the problem. Probably a better solution is a wall on that bank somewhere. So I'm going to want to line the bottom with dirt. Anywhere that doesn't already have dirt or mud, I guess. Make 
sure there's no stone or anything like that on the bottom. No clay. Okay. Pretty happy with that pool. Probably going to want to do something about this corner here a little bit. should have dug out this background wall earlier. This part out here is going to be a bit annoying. Not that big of a deal, I guess, but a little bit annoying. Being slime. Um, may I say hell yes? Stay on the move. Because when he goes to teleport, he will teleport to where you were when he tries to start teleporting. Please drop something good. I don't really care what, as long as it's like. Okay, I don't care what you drop as long as it is the, um, what are you going to call it? The slime hook. <laughs> as he gets smaller, he gets faster. And as he takes damage, he gets smaller. This is like so much, so much easier than the last time I fought him. I have the ability to just fly back and forth across the arena. It practically trivializes the fight. Don't even have an actual arena. Also, we have really good weapons too. Although honestly, I almost wish I had my grenades equipped. But yeah, wings or even rocket boots or anything. There's the 450th loose one. He's very clearly almost dead. Give me the loot. Slime Relic. Awesome. 
Okay. What did we get? Armored row gel. Makes slimes friendly if equipped. The solidifier, which is useful for crafting slime related stuff. The slime gun. What squirts harmless. Ninja pants. And ninja hood. But we did not get any slime hook. Oh well. New NPC. Um, okay. Never heard of them before. Probably should go back to the base and check that out then. Hello, Runastar. Welcome here. Oh well, we'll have plenty of other opportunities to kill King Slime now that he is basically trivial. And eventually we will get the Slime Hook. It's not a rare drop or anything. Okay, we just gotta fill this pool up with water. Which will be... Tedious, but not complicated. Let's go see who this new NPC is. There was a new NPC, right? Maybe not. Oh, there they are. What are you doing living over there? I don't even think there's a room over there, is there? Yes, there must be. Um, I don't think a slime would enjoy living in a desert. Just saying. Let's move him into there for now. And let's move far enough away we can't see that room. He probably won't be very happy living in here with all the other people, but that's fine. He can be moved to a different, unique place later, maybe. Okay. He's a pet. Or something. Yeah, he can be assigned to somebody else's room. Interesting. Um, who would enjoy a slime? Finally bought the Rattlesnake BP. Time to start building a fleet. Awesome. I think we're going to assign him to the zoologist. There. Enjoy a slime. <laughs> okay. Apparently she likes living by herself and with that stupid angler kid nearby. I don't know if the slime increases that or not. Ooh, there's some stuff here I didn't see before. Mollusk whistle. Someone's a rideable flamingo mount. Um. Okay. That's a lot of gold to spend on a mount, but let's do it. I think this is the first mount we've acquired yet. Yes, it is. We have a rideable flamingo. I'm not sure why I would want a rideable flamingo. Surely he's got some kind of special ability. Can he swim? He can swim, okay. 
<laughs> Style points, I guess. I would rather have the um, slime mount, honestly, the slimy saddle. Which is the other thing I wanted to get from King Slime. But hey, we have a mount. How fast does it run? I think that's slower than me running. Yeah, it is. Okay. That was a big waste of money, but yeah, it's kind of cool. Um, you don't have anything else interesting, do you? Nope, just furry gear. And cat licenses. Cat would be tempting. You know what? Screw it. Let's buy a cat. No cat. Where cat? Not sure if I used that properly. <laughs> mount that's slower than on foot. Yeah, unfortunately, a lot of the mounts are... Maybe it has no fall damage or something like that, too. Uh, I'm not sure if I want to test that, though. Eh, you know what? Let's test that. Okay, so if I fall from this height, normally... I take no fall damage because the wings actually remove fall damage, even if you're not using them. Uh, let's see, what height would give me fall damage normally? Let's try from here. Ouch, okay. Yeah, that normally would give me fall damage. So apparently wings just completely negate fall damage when they're equipped. You don't even have to be holding space anymore. Okay. That's certainly reduced fall damage. Yeah. Okay. That's cool. I suppose. If it wasn't for the fact that it already had wings. <laughs> um. Okay. Mount to mount, I guess. Wonder if it gives me a higher default jump. Maybe. Here. So that's where we got to just jumping. Does jump a little tiny bit higher. Okay. So our current top speed is 30 miles per hour. Now, if I turn the mount off. Okay, so it is faster than me without all my fancy go fast stuff equipped. Also, yeah. If I didn't have a whole bunch of fancy movement enhancing gear, I would be extremely happy with this mount. Let's put it that way. Unfortunately, I have a whole bunch of fancy movement enhancing gear. And so he's kind of worthless. <laughs> Kind of cool to ride a flamingo around, though. Um, let's put my all my said fancy movement enhancing gear back on before I do something stupid like try to jump over an enemy and not make it again. Okay. Now. The next thing to do is... Okay, where did my cat go? I paid for a cat license. I didn't get a cat. Maybe I just used the license wrong or something. Okay. 
or it hasn't spawned yet or who knows what um that actually does pretty good damage okay so let's teleport out to the beach and go continue working on our new pond now to fill this pond we're going to use damn it i got rid of all my okay fine mine a little bit of dirt here i think that's not enough actually we're gonna need more dirt Okay, so we're going to need to use a, a Buse, a little glitch here. Did you go away, you blasted. I need to put a uh, wall or something over there. A temporary one, if nothing else. Yeah, we'll deal with that later. Okay, for now, I do have enough. And I forgot my buckets. Damn it. I knew there was something I wanted to go get. <laughs> my license was revoked for animal abuse. I never abused cats. <laughs> uh, let's see. Or did I bring my buckets? I grabbed buckets and something happened to them. Because I was sure I left my buckets in here, but I guess not. Uh, where did they even go? Maybe I have to craft another bucket and then quick stack it and watch it where watch where it goes. Oh, there they are. Oh, also I have a bunch of crap in here that I need to deal with. Oh, oops, put that back, you. Okay, um. One platinum. Oh, there we go. The cat has arrived. Um, where should I sign the cat? Um. I wonder who would appreciate a cat the most. I think the cat, the nurse can have a cat. <laughs> yeah, nurse. <laughs> and then we'll go put the relic up here to indicate another brutally murdered boss. This painting's gonna have to go. We'll put it in that room for now. But every time I get a boss trophy, we'll put them in progressive order, going down to the center. So first we have this dude, and then this one, and then whoever comes next after that. Okay, the solidifier is a pretty cool item. It can be used to craft cool things out of slime. Things like slime blocks. <clears throat> Okay, let's go put away our ninja pants. Ninja helmet. I think there's a ninja shirt somewhere. Um, armored royal gel. Should go into protection. Because it protects us from slimes. The slime gun. Technically it's a ranged weapon. Um, it's a pretty worthless ranged weapon, but it is technically a ranged weapon. And then we have a blue slime banner to hang. And I should have got a bucket of honey while I was out there, but I think we'll have them. Try not to let me forget to grab a bucket of honey before I come back. Also, why am I running? You know what? Let's just run out there for old time's sake. 
clipped, I think I'm going to see how far I can fly to get out there. Because we can get really high off the top of this using the... Uh, Okay. Okay, that was a mistake, actually. Let's go back. Grab the rope. Okay, there we go. Go away. Damn you. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. That was running water sound, and here... <laughs> um, if this chest had wings in it, I'm not sure what I would have done. But... There... Okay, remember what I was saying earlier about how there's spaces wide enough to hide some islands in here? Um, yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's continue our little exploration trip here. I honestly didn't think I'd find one there. Even, these are just crappy wings, and even so, we can get pretty good range. Obviously, it's slower than teleporting, but... Whee. We're pretty limited on how much height we can gain. We'd be able to gain a lot more height if we had... Um... Grab the rope. There we go. <laughs> We'd be able to gain a lot more height if we had... Better wings. Yep. Grab that direction, you. Okay. You can't grab the rope if you're holding space. Also, grabbing the rope does not refresh your double jumps, apparently. 100th Jungle Bat. does refresh my double jumps for sure is landing yep or using the grapple we that would have been intensely frustrating for sure if there were wings right there Right beside her house and everything. I'm honestly glad it didn't turn out that way. Like, oh, it would just fly around here a little bit. And then I heard running water. It's like, whoa, 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 stop. There should be no running water where there is that running water. Alright, um, that little adventure is now over with. Let's fill up some buckets. I'm going to fill three, just in case. But realistically, one bucket should be enough. Assuming I get this perfectly right. And I didn't get it right. Oh yes, I did get it right, but I screwed it up by... Okay, I didn't get it right. Um, I need to only have one empty bucket, or one bucket in my inventory to make this work. I thought I was being smart by bringing more than one, but I wasn't. Um, actually, I, okay. I should have just used my money trough. Okay, so, there we go. Now, as you can see, this generates water. 
Unfortunately, it generates a fractional amount of a bucket every time you do this. And is extremely tedious and slow, so we're going to be here for a bit. Because we're going to fill this pond up. I also have not calculated to see if this pond is actually big enough. So, I guess let's hope. <laughs> yeah, thankfully I just have to hold the button down and it works. If I had to spam it, my finger would fall off. <laughs> A much better way to generate water is to use pumps. Because apparently there's some fun rounding stuff going on when you pump water from one place to another. And if you pump it out of the bottom of the reservoir and up to the top of the reservoir, it'll fill the reservoir up slowly. It's kind of weird. I don't know if it still works, but it certainly used to work. But I don't have pumps, and I do have buckets, so here we are. The reason why this works is because you can fill up a bucket with less water than it, the bucket gives when it dumps. So some of the water spills over the edge and the rest of the water goes back in the bucket. takes a very long time. Also, bats are annoying. And I hate them. For honey, or, well, honey you can do this way, but honey, because it flows slower than water, it, um, you can't just hold down the button. You have to click, you have to time your clicks. If it were, I think, I think that's how that works. It's been quite a while since I've tried to fill a pool with honey. I used to do this kind of thing to fill up all the, or, I used to do this to fill most of the pools for my um, fishing complexes back when I still made fishing complexes. It's incredibly tedious. For honey, pump method is definitely much better because of the timing issue. I can't remember if you can do this with lava or not, or if it's the same situation as honey where you need to time it. Oh, don't leave the bat alone, you idiot. There we go. Okay. All right. But definitely... Building a large pool is much easier. Much, much easier once pumps are available. That said, we are filling this up pretty, pretty quickly. I kind of want to fill it up with about this level. So roughly from there to here somewhere. Probably at least a third of the way there, if not more. From where we started. Because I think if we were started, we were down like here somewhere. And while it is widening as it goes, it's not widening that much. got a whole gold worth of stuff out of that pool. Okay. Damn bat.
I think Star Fury is just a better weapon than this is. Um, 22 damage versus 35. Okay, Star Fury is way better. I should probably retire that and just use Star Fury. I wonder, I do have that item that allows auto swing for melee weapons. I wonder if that would make Star Fury auto fire as well. Make a little enclosure so nothing can reach you. I should, but also, I guess now that it's night and the demon eyes are coming out, I really should. I didn't really want to because it'd be a waste of time. But that should work. I'm gonna have to build a little hut on each side for um, fishing purposes. Because this is gonna be my at least temporary jungle pool as well. It's definitely filling. go halfway up the next block. Just a little tiny bit more and then we're done. Mm, that's looking pretty good actually. Maybe a little bit more. I don't know if this is the thousand blocks I need for salmon fishing. Um, if it isn't, we're going to have to increase its size some. But I guess the way to find out is to try mining and... Or try not mining, try fishing and see what happens. I could, you know, do things like counting and math, but... Okay, so... Let's go get some blocks that I can use to make this. Probably just some wood or something. Um, we do have some stone slabs. Okay, what kind of what options do we have in wood? We have some mahogany or bamboo. Bamboo and mahogany seem like a good option. This doesn't need back walls or anything. It's not a proper building. It's just a little hut. I think we'll do like a mahogany roof with bamboo walls, maybe. And we have a jungle bat banner to hang. Yeah. Basically, what we're, that's what we're going to be making next is the don't bother me hut. Okay. I'm going to make a little don't bother me hut right in here. Maybe one over here later. For now, I'm not going to bother with that just yet. And then I'm going to try fishing here for a bit and see if I get a salmon. If I don't get salmon after a few attempts, then we will um, dig it out a little larger and try again.
Okay. Now. A couple of torches to just light the place up a little bit. Get some bamboo. Put in a few pillars here. Mahogany floor on top of that. Go way back. Damn it. Okay. 